Tim Legler joins us now. And Tim, I want to I want to follow on what Jalen was just talking about. I mean, it's a make miss league. They made more threes. I mean, you could say, well, we made shots instead of missing shots. But how much how much about just not settling was part of that? What led to a better shooting night for for Boston? Yeah, Scott, look, they had to reverse this trend because what we saw in the first three games was completely unforeseen. Boston had been outscored by 39 points at the three-point line, and that's just not the way these two teams operated in the regular season. So Boston had to flip that script, and they did it, and they did it because of what Jalen Brown said. They turned down shots, had multiple good shots on so many possessions, and they did not settle for one that was a decent shot to get better looks, and they just needed the floodgates to open up, and I felt like that's exactly Exactly what happened, particularly in the third quarter. You know, moving the basketball and Jason Tatum getting hot. Their, their team has a lot of confidence when they see their best player get it going. But just take a look at these possessions. This is Boston at their best from the regular season. Great kick out by Smart, turn down one by Al Horford, get a better one in the corner by Derek White. Playing out in transition, Jalen Brown could have forced this up to the rim. Instead, cross court pass. Williams passes one up. Tatum passes one up. Williams gets a better look in the corner. So I just felt like their patience and their commitment to be decisive with the next pass to find an open shooter and play to their strength. This is who they were all season. I said that they were down 39 from the three-point line going into this game, Scott. They made up 33 points of that differential in one game by making 19 threes. This was their style. This was Boston at their best and it fueled the other end of the court for them. I'm going to get to their defense in a minute. Just a quick follow on what we just saw, because I can't imagine the film study when they watched themselves in game three. They must have looked at it and be like, who the hell is this? They didn't just settle. They did nothing. Dudes just stood still, and then somebody would just chuck a three. I, I, it was the, I mean, we're not talking about game three, but I kind of am. I just, I'm trying to figure out who that was compared to who we saw tonight. That had to have been part of it. Oh, no doubt. I mean, you have your worst performance, arguably, of the entire season the other night. And not right. just the way that they played in terms of execution, just their spirit. Right? This team was demoralized. They, they, they were a team that looked like they had no answers for the Miami Heat. And you're talking about a two seed in the Eastern Conference, and they're right. healthy. So you would expect a, a strong response. But, look, this shows you, Scott, how impressive it is what Denver was able to do because it is hard to sweep teams when you get to this round. And the other night, Denver gets hit with that big run by the Lakers in the first half. But they come out, they right the ship, and they end that series. That's what Miami wanted to do tonight on their home floor. They weren't able to do it because Boston had a response. Give them a lot of credit because, man, have they heard some noise since the game the other night. And a lot of people did not expect them to be able to rise up and get one and get back into this series They've done that. Now they get to make a return trip home to see if they can extend this thing. This was the Boston Celtics team tonight that I watched the first two and a half months of the season. Uh, and it's been a roller coaster since then and some flat performances in the playoffs. They found it tonight, whatever that was. And this was their best uh, that they could be from this season. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.